Hello everyone, my name is Felicia and this is In My Travels. Thank you so much for joining me. Today, well, let's, let's be real. I have not been on this, uh, this format in quite some time and that's my fault. Where have I been? I've been like you. I've been working, uh, traveling, and, but mostly working. Now I finished one job somewhere else and now I am back online teaching amazing students, doing something that I love because I love teaching English, but I also love helping people, especially helping people in their careers. So I am now back online, which means that I can work remotely. And with this particular company, I can work from anywhere in the world. That is very, very important to me. So. Uh, now that I have, now that I'm back online, I can, um, you know, dedicate more time and space to YouTube, which I'm, you know, very happy about. Before, I was just trying to do too many things, really. And as you know, you can't do a lot of things well. You have to focus on a couple of, uh, maybe for me, three things and do them well to the best of your ability. So. I am back and uh, the reason why I'm back is number one I don't see people talking about their health uh, and also getting ready um, you know with all of the you know physical exams and all these things um, before they move abroad this is so key and I don't see anyone talking about getting fit getting healthy before you make a major change in your life Living and working abroad, and as I said you know, earlier, just moving abroad can be very stressful. But just think about moving into another country, moving to another culture, and not being at your healthiest. I can't imagine. You know, I understand that perhaps when you get to your destination, you might get a cold or you might have allergies that you've never had before, etc. And then you will have to go to a doctor. But what I would like to add to the space of, you know, so many black Americans, especially moving abroad right now, please go and get your checkups. Go and get your checkups. Ho hopefully that didn't my little microphone didn't do anything crazy get your checkups please before you move abroad why you want to know your numbers you want to know that you are at your healthiest and if there um you and you want to know if you might have to address certain things perhaps you already have a medical condition um that you know you're on top of here you have to know that when you move to another country, you're moving into another healthcare system. Yes, you will have, of course, um, uh, healthcare, um, perhaps through your job, or maybe you have purchased uh, private health insurance. But, you know, that's all well and good. But if you have a medical condition uh, before you move abroad, you might want to know what that will look like, how you will um, take care of that condition in your new country. Um, maybe the medicine that you are currently taking now is called another name in that country, or perhaps they don't have that drug available uh, or that, um, you know, yeah, drugs uh, in, 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 in that new country of yours. So these are the things that you have to know because I know of someone and they're doing so well in their new country, but with their medical condition, they had to have their, um, their medicine translated into that country's language. And also um, they had to have certain signatures signed by their doctor here in the U.S. before uh, they moved abroad. So but you know, we don't, we don't want to get into that stuff too deeply right now. What I am doing since I am in the process of interviewing 
and getting all of my administrative documents for the work visa. Um, oh, wait a minute. Did I tell you? I'm in the process of working abroad again. Now, I'm not, I'm not moving abroad because our home is here. However, I am going to work abroad again because number one, I miss it. Number two, I just have so many things that I want to do now in certain countries and I think that now is the time to do it, right? I am a woman of a certain age and I might be in the throes of maybe aging out, I don't know. But I've done some research about that. So the time is now, the time is now. But let's get back to health. Whatever your health status is now, please know that if you want to move abroad, uh, you can. I'm not saying that you have to be a certain size to move abroad. Absolutely not. Repeat, I am not saying that at all. I just want you to be aware of your health status so that when you do move abroad, the last thing that you will have to worry about or doctor's appointments, trying to find the right specialist for this and the right specialist for that. I want you to do all of that work before. But before we do the research into doctors and all these type of things, know your health status now. I've already done my physical, uh, I've had a physical uh, eye doctor and other checkups that I have scheduled actually um, this coming week because I know that when I hit the ground I just want to focus on my work I want to focus on the onboarding I want to get to know my new colleagues and of course and especially my new students I don't want to have to worry about doctor's appointments. <laughs> Sorry for the long pause. Doctor's appointments. I don't want to have to worry about that. But I am saying get it done now. And what I'm doing is that, um, yeah, I've done, you know, I'm in the process of getting all of my doctor's uh, appointments done. I mean, I just basically had to have a physical to make sure every my numbers and everything are great. They're great. Thank goodness. But also, I am working out so much like never before because there's a, two numbers that I didn't like. So I said, all right, girl, let's get it in gear. Let's get back to the strength training and let's get to walking every single day. Now I walk on average about 13,000 steps per day. And of course, I'm not snacking and all of these things that I was doing before I said, girl, you're about to move abroad again, get it in gear. So I've lost some weight, thank goodness, but that's what I'm personally working on um, in addition to gaining more muscle. That is it. I'm just working on to, you know, my being as healthy as I possibly be for me. That will possibly, probably, look different for you where we all have different bodies and we all have different goals so if you want to move abroad you can just know your numbers how do you do that you start consulting with your doctors right or your doctor your nurse practitioner etc get those checkups in the coming videos on my channel i'm going to talk to you about what I'm doing personally to get fit and to and what I'm doing in order to get ready to work abroad again um, probably by the end of August sometime in August which is coming up very very soon or latest September anywho I just wanted to share that with you please like comment and subscribe please to my channel this helps me out a lot and um, I really want to do two videos per week and a couple of shorts. Um, if you are into TikTok, I'm on TikTok as well, a lot more than I am on YouTube, but that's going to change because 
I really think I have something to offer you, something of value to offer you when it comes to motivating you and empowering you to be at your best physically and mentally before you take the leap to move abroad. Thank you so much for listening to me and staying with me and have a wonderful Sunday. Ciao.